Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're watching along today. Today I'm doing a plush unboxing. These videos are so fun to do. Um, kind of a little cheater. Cheated, cheated a little this time. You can see it's open here. Um, I got three of these large boxes in an order. Um, and I'll talk about how much I paid and everything in a second. But the last time I did the first one, um, I ended up behind the box at the end, pulling them out, like standing up. And it really hurt my back a lot. So I had to I had to brainstorm with Keith a way to do this one that would be easier for me. So they're on a, the box is open on its side. The plush are spilling out onto the table. But this will be a lot easier for me and um, not result in a backache. So I got three of these large boxes. Uh, 77 pounds total of plush for $154. And $104.83 was the shipping cost. So a total of $258.83. All in with shipping. That comes out to about $3.36 a pound. Usually plush are going to weigh 8 ounces or less. Um, so two, two plushies per pound would make these like a dollar 80 a plush. Most of them are going to be a lot smaller and weigh a lot less. Um, so like a dollar to a dollar 80 a pa uh, plush, but these are good plush. So, um, I did get the whole 77 pounds from Leslie, my longtime friend of the channel. Um, she sources these at the bend and saves them up until she has a bunch and then she'll reach out to me and i pay her two dollars a pound she pays a dollar a pound for them so i'm reimbursing her the one dollar and then i pay her another dollar for her time and her efforts and i do the labels through pirate ship ups um it's the cheapest way to go and i could send her the labels and then she can download them print them and send me the plush so this is like the fourth time i've ordered from her um she does really good at picking them out. She learned how to source plush off this channel and from my plush guides. So it's almost like having a proxy star out there sourcing all these good plush. Um, I do enjoy getting this from her. Um, I like it, even if it, it's a dollar fifteen, dollar eighty-five per plush. It's worth it to get this many all at once shipped right to my door. I mean three huge boxes 77 pounds of plush all in one swoop just boom here it's at your door um versus going you know out thrifting and maybe paying a little bit less like a dollar even a dollar a piece you're only finding a couple here and there i definitely don't get them for 50 cents anymore they don't have that here anymore um so this is a good deal for both of us she gets to make a little bit of money i get some great plush um, also, I have full disclosure. Um, I'm doing a little bit more than a little bit of cheating. So yeah, the box is open. It's on its side. I've already steamed all these. Um, I brought it upstairs yesterday and steamed all of the plush and then put them back in the box while I was watching some true crime. I have one more box to go after this. I haven't photographed or listed any of it yet. Um, one box was steamed clean and done a haul i actually took three videos and i'll probably do this one in three parts as well and keep each one to about 15 minutes long and then i'll have one more box after that so let's get into it oh if you're wondering why i haven't photographed or listed any of these yet um if you watch this channel often you're probably well aware that I ended all of our plush listings and I'm putting them back in as I go through them. So I'm actually doing like an inventory on our plush and we have a lot of plush. So I ended them on all on eBay um, and the other platforms using what's perfectly. And then I'm bringing up the bins in the bags of plush one at a time, um, finding them on list perfectly, updating them, changing titles and stuff. And then they're getting pushed back out. And in this way, I'm also able to consolidate. So a lot of our 
bags of plush and bins were getting, you know, half full or half empty, however you look at it. Um, so I'm able to consolidate and really get those bags and bins full and cut down on the amount that I had of bags and bins of plush. And then I'll be able to use those bags and bins for photographing and storing the new, the new guys. So as soon as I'm through with the plush inventory, I'll be photographing these new friends here. And then the other box. Actually, I'll probably bring up the third box and steam clean it and do a haul video on the third box and do those guys. And then the one that had already been um, shown on the channel and cleaned will be like the last box I bring up to photograph. And let's, I'm waving this guy around. You guys can see what he is, right? This is a Bolo brand of plush. I'm super excited about this guy. Um, in fact, there's some in here that are like Easter plush. Um, that I actually probably will go ahead and photograph tomorrow and just get listed um, as soon as I can. Because um, this is like a rabbit. It's not technically an Easter bunny, but I'm going to put Easter bunny as a keyword. So Jelly Cat is definitely a bolo. You guys always want to pick that up when you find it. This is a Hallmark Interactive Story Buddy. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I thought she was going to talk more. Goodbye. Maybe if I talk to her. I'm ready for you to read me my story. <laughs> okay, I'll read you a story. Are you supposed to have a specific story? Do you have certain words that make you respond to me? Hello? <laughs> well, I'll mess around with Bye. her more later. She's cute. I have a Peppa Pig. Um, official. You want to make sure that you check those things out when you're messing around. I feel like she's got something inside of her you're supposed to. Oh, hug me. That was the best hug ever. Oh, I love plush. They're so fun. I'm such a kid. All right, you guys got to go on the floor, though. There's not enough room up here for everybody. There's a Blue's Clues. Oh. Um, Buzz Lightyear. And this one doesn't talk or anything, but he's still super cool. Set you down gently on the floor. We've got, I believe this is a Doodle Bear. Tommy Doodle Bear, yep. I always do well with the doodle bears. Here's another one. This is Fisher Price. This isn't an actual doodle bear. This is a Fisher Price bear. But it looks like a doodle bear, don't it? So cute. Look at her little eyelashes. And then we have a build a bear, pink poodle. Super cute. Giant poodle. And she's pink. And she's got a cute face. Hi, guys. I'm cute. I'm a pink poodle. How you doing? <laughs> I have too much fun with plush. Really do. I'm a kid. This is um, an American girl. I don't know why I don't have my glasses on. Probably because I didn't know where they were for a second. Okay, this is American girl. So this must be um, a, do a dog for the American Girl dolls. Has a leash. And then we have, this is a Build-A-Bear. Doesn't have the big tush tag or anything, but that is a dead giveaway. Um, it's been cut off, which I'll disclose, the tush tag's cut off. But the little yellow heart on one side or the yellow tag with the red heart on one side and the blue popper on the other. That's build a bear. This is a cute pink. Oh, this one has magnets in its hands. How cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're cute. You're, 
Oh, look. There it goes. <laughs> How cute is that? All right. Let's not knock our soda over. Um, this is Animal Alley, which is a good brand. I believe it was Toys R Us. Yep, right there it says Toys R Us. Um, I always do well with Animal Alley. This is a rabbit, so I'm going to pull this out. Probably can get it up soon. Easter is April 9th this year, so I want to get all the Easter plushies up. We have another little Blue's Clues. Uh-oh. My kids were crazy about Blue when they were small. This is a My Little Pony. I think this is Twilight Sparkles. What's up with her hair? I don't know. It's Oh, I guess she's got like a bangs. I <laughs> don't know. Uh, another jelly cat. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Just look at it. Would you just look at it? All right, I'm going to pull him out too because that's a, that's a little money brand. Bedtime storybook. First baby bear takes a bath. Can you find the duck? Baby bear looks for his teddy bear. Can you find it? There's like a little, whole little story going on here. And at the end, he puts away his clothes. And him has a hole in his pajamas for him's tail. <laughs> so cute. Look at his little sleepy eyes. He looks so tired. He's cute. We have another Peppa Pig. This one's a beanbag plush, so she doesn't snort or nothing. And she's got her little teddy bear. Then we have... A Minecraft um, squid. I'll be able to look it up through Google image search unless somebody else knows. And you can tell me in the comments. But I'm pretty sure this is like a squid or an octopus. A Minecraft. Rainbow Dash. My Little Pony. These are all great. I know I've only like really called out the Jelly Cats as Bolo brands. But everything I'm pulling out of this box is really great. Um, either, you know, bread as far as bread and butter um, and good sellers, good characters that I do well with. And Jelly Cat and Animal Alley, obviously, are really good brands. This is a Liberty Teddy. His bow has seen better days, but that's okay. I might even take it off, to be honest, because of it being like that. We shall see. He's cute though. Maybe if I could just take the purple part off and leave the patriotic part of his bow tie. I'll mess around with him the picture time. So this is a Gans Webkins. And I believe this is like a moth. It's a first edition. A pigging thumb. I'm going to bet that this is going to be worth more than some of your, you know, run-of-the-mill bread and butter games, Webkins. And it's really cute. Then we have uh, another doodle bear. This one's really cute. Um, she's got like an all over kind of floral, so 70s ish print. All right, we're gonna do one more and then I'm gonna cut it off here so we're not here all day and I'll be back in the second part with the rest of the blush or probably two more videos with more plush from this box. This is SeaWorld, and oh my goodness, it's face. So don't tell my hamster I said this, but I think that of all the animals in all the world, the animals with the cutest faces are otters. But a close second to otters are seals. And then rodents are number three. 
But otters and seals just have like the cutest faces. I cannot stand how cute they are. When I was young, I had a, a little collection of little stuffed seals. I loved them. You're very cute. You want to be my friend? He says he wants to be my friend. And he says he's cute too. He knows he's cute. How could you be that cute? No, no, you're cute. All right, guys, I'll be back in another part with more plush. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about reselling plush in general or any of the plush you saw here today, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.